Hello and welcome back to another one of Zug's Guides on Broadside Gaming. And if you've been enjoying the guides so far, even my past guides and builds, you know, please feel free to like, subscribe and ring the little bell for notification. It really does help us out. So today in our beginner's guide section, we are taking a look at Carillion and Carillion's Waystalker more specifically. So I would say this is one of her more fragile iterations. But she's also quite fun. Because you get to be mostly range. So with the Waystalker, the general idea is to try not to get hit, to be honest, because you are made of like red sticks and wishes. So we'll have a quick look at the build I'm using. You know, the build isn't too important at this point because this is a beginner's guide, so you may only be level two or three. This is generally what I'm using. And I'm using a swift bow with this at the moment. And dual swords. Quite like the swift bow. It's very fun. Because you can just do stupid shit like this with it. So the main thing with Krillin is you want to be trying to snipe everything. Not just specials and elites, just everything. Especially if you've got a big pack of, um, say, monks or berserkers, or there's a really hard to reach special behind a massive horde that your melee team mates can't get to. Uh, this is where you fall back to your F ability. So you hold it down. Usually, these would turn red, but the targeting dummy is being arseholes. So when you mouse over it, it will turn red to say, yes, you've targeted it. You release. And they basically go and heat seek out who you've aimed at. Usually. Sometimes they do fuck off and just do their own thing. But that is the risk we take. And then, basically, if you start getting surrounded, you fall back to your melee weapons. And I've chosen dual swords just because they look quite cool. And they're... Absolutely amazing for dealing with uh, anything non-armoured, basically. So let's go... Let's choose somewhere else for a, a test. I'm sick of seeing Burblesburg. Let's go, let's go to the righteous stand. Obviously, this is on recruit because this is aimed at people doing recruit and... Well... Recruit and the next one up. Ooh, well, she's got some a good shot of gaining some proper information. Hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy Krillin. I I like all of her careers. I used to fucking hate the Handmaiden, and then I actually realised why it's good and how to play it properly. And I was like, actually, yeah, this is really cool. So you are definitely not a frontliner. So for the love of God, don't just run off on your own and try and jump into the middle of a horde because. You know, un unless you're very, 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 very good at the game and have been playing for many, many hours, you're going to get your ass handed to you and your teammates are going to just be pissed off that you're naffling all of the fucking healing. So, Swift Bow it is mostly just doing stuff like this. Also, at this difficulty, you won't be doing anything, but as you get higher in the game, you will be doing friendly fire, and people will start getting pissed if you just pin cushion them. Mostly want an opportunity just to use the F ability, to be honest, so you can, I can show it to you working. Play. There's a leech somewhere. And you will learn. Uh, you go, red. And then you just drop him. It does work as well. If there's a group of them. Uh, if there is a group of them, say, plague vermin. You can use that. And it 
should take out most of them. There you go, purple potion. There you go. Barden's using a special. There's not much armor in there, so I can just charge him with the swords and hack the flesh to pieces. But don't think you have to just stand back and only shoot. Because it's just not how the game works. You will have to get in there and do it a hack and queuing. But your ranged attacks are your bread and butter. And you, especially with the swift bow, you want to be quite aggressive with it. I'm not being an absolutely amazing shot at the moment. But every like with the build I've shown, um, every elite or special you kill with your F ability, you do get ammo back. Deep. So I've just jumped back up to 90 arrows. But also, I'm gonna I'm gonna drill this into every video I do on this beginner's guide. Learn to dodge. Space and a direction. Oh, well, a direction. Hold a direction, and then hit space. Dodging is one of the most important things you can learn in this game, as well as blocking. Because when you get higher up, you're not just going to be able to tank those hits. They will one shot you. It's very very important to learn that. Yeah, but you know this is Krillian. Great fun to play. Good to master. But well, well worth it if you ask me. Before this arena starts, I shall uh, thank you all for joining me for another guide, and I shall hopefully see you all next time. Uh, if you have liked the guide, guys, please you know feel free to like, subscribe, and ring the little bell for notification. I will be churning out more Vermintide 2 content, especially after the 28th when the new patch drops, and. If there are any changes to classes, I will be updating every single one of my guides for every single career. So that is a big old chunk of guides that I'll be doing for you all. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you all next time.